So we are now in the month of March, which means the Kyle Perico DLC has been out for over two and a half months. This, of course, you know, leads to us wondering what's next. What is the next update? What's the next DLC coming to GTA Online? Of course, we all are hoping to get something on the expanded and enhanced edition of GTA 5 because that's the one thing we do know is officially coming out this year. But speaking of this year, it might not come out this year. It was speculated that it might be getting delayed because now there's no longer a release date on the trailer. But with that being said, we're actually not done yet with the Kyle Perico update. There's actually some things that are unreleased. And in this video, I just wanted to go over them because it might give us an idea of when to expect some more news. And the reason that is, is because Rockstar usually don't give us anything new until the old stuff is completed. So while many of you guys probably think there's nothing left with the Kyle Perico update, we actually have some stuff that uh, you might have forgot about. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Now, the first thing we'll start with the drip fed cars. We pretty much have gone through all of them, except for one. Although we already got this vehicle on Christmas, I believe. So I'm not entirely sure what's gonna end up happening with this vehicle. But if we go through the three websites, we obviously already have the Itali, whatever that new car is. We got that a long time ago. On the Warstock website, we finally got through all of these. They, for whatever reason, switched the Varus and the Weaponized Dinghy order, but the Weaponized Dinghy is the week we're in now. So all the vehicles from this website are out. And then finally, moving to the Southern San Andreas website, we have all of these except for that Brioso 300. But that Brioso 300 was, again, released around Christmas. Like, I remember it being on the thing on this website. So I don't know exactly if Rockstar are going to re-add this again because they've already technically added it. But as far as drip fed cars go, technically that is the only one that is still unreleased because if you go to the website now, it's not there. Which means, you know, maybe next week or I guess this Thursday, it might be the last drip fed car. But that's not the only thing that might be drip fed with this Kyle Perico update. One of the bigger things, and I'm shocked Rockstar hasn't put this out yet, is the Golden Panther statue. This is something that we all thought was coming maybe with like the Valentine's week, just because it would have been a nice way to, you know, give back to the community for, from Rockstar. What this Golden Panther statue is, is the best item you can get from the Cayo Perico heist. I believe just the base price of this statue is like 1.9 million dollars or maybe even two million dollars if you're on hard which is a lot more than the other items i believe at the moment the only other one that is even close is that diamond which it seems like you rarely ever get and i think that one's like 1.5 or 1.4 million so this golden panther statue is like the top of the line it's it's like the diamonds in the casino heist and we all know the diamonds in the casino heist is something that Rockstar add to the game every now and then. But they've not added this statue to the game as of yet. Which probably means they're going to drip feed this. Like maybe once all of the vehicles are done and all of the other little minor stuff is done, they'll release this as a drip fed item so they can say something's new that week. That might actually tie into this next part, which we still have left. This is from their newswire. So two weeks ago, they mentioned in their newswire that over the course of the next four weeks, they're celebrating basically the GT Online community with a bunch of new stuff. Well, maybe on this fourth week, which we'll get into specific dates here in a second, maybe that last week is gonna be the Golden Panther statue as like one big thank you to the GT Online community. I could see Rockstar pulling that off. Now, you see in the title, or at the top, February 18th is when this was released, so we're two weeks into this. If we just add up the next two weeks, that takes us to March 18th for when this whole celebration is going to be done. So if you're looking for any new content over the next two weeks, I wouldn't, because we still have this celebration, and I don't think Rockstar is going to announce anything new while this celebration is going on. They're gonna focus on whatever they have planned, and that's gonna be it. 
And then the only other thing that Rockstar have added are the podium vehicles. They actually added two more podium vehicles, I believe a couple of days ago in one of the background updates. These are the remaining vehicles we have left. We have the Hakatu Drag, the Comet SR, the Verli Air, the Night Shark, and the Tropos Rally. That is five vehicles, which will actually take us to the 1st of April, if each one obviously comes out each week. So with all that being said, at the minimum, we have to wait an entire month before we get anything new. Now on these podium vehicles, what's interesting is normally Rockstar had like five or six at a time, but this time they only added two. You know, maybe that means they have something planned for April and maybe the podium vehicle might add some new vehicles. But again, potentially come in April, that might be too optimistic thinking, but it is something to note. But that pretty much wraps it up. That is all of the unreleased content still. We have five unreleased podium vehicles. We have two celebration weeks still to go through. And then technically we have one unreleased vehicle still, and then that unreleased statue. So even though it may seem the Kyle Perico update is done, it's not really we still have a, a couple of weeks left so anyway that's gonna do it for this video just wanted to make a quick update and let you guys know exactly what's going on and, and sort of what to expect again it seems like you shouldn't be expecting anything big as far as you know new dlc news for the next couple of weeks so thank you guys for watching this is do it for the video please drop a like if you did enjoy subscribe for more gta content and as always i'll see you all in the next one.